you are going to have to completely bleed your brake system after this job is done. Do not try and drive the vehicle without completely bleeding the system, including activating the ABS pump with your scan tool. The master cylinder is located under the front trim panel, red arrows. You do not need to remove all of the upper trim panels to perform this work, but it sure helps and gives you more room. Please see our article and video on front trim panel removal for additional assistance if needed. The master cylinder has an attached brake fluid reservoir which will need to be removed first. Locate the brake fluid reservoir and remove the cap and strainer, red arrow. You will need to use a fluid pump and drain the reservoir. Brake fluid is fatal to your paint. Make sure you do not get any on you or your clothes and then contact the painted surfaces. Since you are going to completely bleed the system including activating the ABS pump with your scan tool, you can also open the bleed nipple on one of the calipers with a catch bottle attached and pump the brakes until the fluid is removed from both the reservoir and the master. Release the electrical connection from the fluid level sensor by using a flathead screwdriver and rotating it to release the electrical clip, red arrow. Disconnect the electrical connection from the fluid level sensor to the master cylinder by pressing down on the release clip, red arrow, and pulling it off. Use a 5.5 mm socket to loosen the fastening screw holding the reservoir to the master cylinder. During installation, you will need to tighten this to a tightening torque of 8 newton meters or 6 foot pounds. If you have a manual transmission, use a set of needle nose pliers to release the metal hose clamp on the clutch return line, red arrow. Then pull off the friction fit fluid line. The second clutch supply line is held in by friction fit. Simply pull on the line until it disconnects from the fluid reservoir, red arrow. The brake fluid reservoir is held to the side of the master cylinder. It is just held in place now by friction fit from the two grommets into the master, red arrow. If you are reinstalling the reservoir, make sure to replace these grommets. Use a 13 mm flare nut wrench to unscrew the two nuts holding the brake lines to the master cylinder. Red arrows. During installation, you will need to tighten this to a tightening torque of 16 newton meters or 12 foot pounds. Use a 24 mm wrench to unscrew the two nuts holding the master cylinder, the brake booster, red arrows. During installation, you will need to tighten this to a tightening torque of 49 newton meters or 36 foot pounds with a tolerance of plus or minus 4 newton meters or plus or minus 3 foot pounds. The master cylinder can now be pulled out from the brake booster. Use care when removing not to spill any of the fluid that will still be in the master cylinder. If you are reusing the master, make sure to replace the O-ring on the rear master to brake booster, red arrow. Installation is the reverse of removal. Again, you're going to have to completely bleed your brake system, including activating the ABS pump with your scan tool to complete this job. Do not try and drive the vehicle without completely bleeding your system with your scan tool. And for additional assistance with that, please see our article and video on how to properly bleed your brakes. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.